Hi guys and welcome back to Beauty Fortified. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sue and today I wanted to give you some mini reviews of event products that I've been using. Now I have had a lot of great success with event products and then I've also had a couple of fails. So I wanted to take you through the products that I've used and just to give you a mini overview of each one. Some of these products I have done in-depth reviews on and where I have, I will link the videos up above. The first product that I've had extreme success with is the Zero Calm Lipid Replenishing Cleansing Oil. Now, I absolutely love this. I use it as a first cleanse to remove makeup. And the reason I like it is that you're getting a lot of product. You're getting 400 ml for under 300 rand. I think it's about 280 rand at clicks. So it's really good value. And the product itself is fantastic. So it really does a good job of dissolving your makeup and just getting everything or as much makeup as possible off before you go in with your second cleanse. It's really gentle and it's more like a kind of gel than an oil. So it comes out looking like that and it does foam up a little bit. It doesn't foam up a great deal, but it just kind of forms a lovely, uh, I don't even know how you would describe it, but a sort of a gel. A gel is the best way to describe it. And that does a really good job of removing makeup. Now, it's meant for sensitive skin. So it's meant as a cleanser. You can use it on your face or body. And I like the fact that it's meant for sensitive skin. So it's not going to do any harm. But it really is a fantastic product and one that I highly recommend in terms of a cleansing oil. It beats any other cleansing oil hands down and I've used high end cleansing oils and I've used drugstore ones as well. And this one is absolutely fantastic. So the next event product is the Trizera Nutrition Nutri-Fluid Cleansing Gel. Now this can also be used for face and body and I use this as a second cleanse in the evening. So once I've used the cleansing oil, I'll go in with this and it does a really, really good job of removing makeup. Again, you're getting a lot of product for under 300 Rand. You're getting 400 mils for under 300 bucks. So it's really good value for money. It's very gentle on the skin and you can use it on your body as well. So it can double up as a cleansing gel for your body. So I really like this one as well. And just to reiterate, all of the event products have got the thermal spring water as a basis of the product. So it's supposed to be very anti-inflammatory, soothing on the skin, calming on the skin. And that's what I really like about this brand is that underlying ingredient. So really, really good from that point of view. Another couple of products that I've tried are the Event Derm Absolute Night and Day Creams. Now, if you look at the facial moisturizers, these are kind of like the, the Rolls Royce. So these are the anti-aging products in their range. And what they say about these is that um, they prevent sagging of the skin. So they're really good for anyone in their late 40s and beyond who is starting to experience a little bit of sag. They both also contain Bacuchiol. They've both got a very light fragrance, which is not obnoxious at all. And what have I found with these? I've really enjoyed using them. I love the textures. They just kind of sink into the skin. They're very cosmetically elegant. So I do like them from that point of view. Have I seen any difference to my sagging skin? I've been using them for, I think, close on two and a half months now. No, I haven't seen any benefit in terms of sagging. And I think that we all know that anything that is topically applied is not going to prevent sagging. So I think um, there are a few procedures um, that can prevent sagging, but nothing that you apply topically is really going to do that. So no, I haven't seen a decrease in my sagging skin, but I really do enjoy the products from a cosmetically elegant point of view. They're really lovely to use. 
They do come in some very shishi packaging, so little plastic tubs, and you just press down and the product dispenses through the nozzle over there. I'm not sold on the packaging because I do like to be able to get like right into the bottom of the container when you're coming towards the end of it. And with this, there's a very little chance that you're going to be able to do that. So I always, um, when I see packaging like this, the first thing that comes to mind is the amount of wastage there's going to be when you can't get the last remnants out. So that's the one uh, downside of these moisturizers. But they are very good. Again, they have the thermal spring water as a basis and really do enjoy them. Then going on to the Soothing Radiance Mask. Now, this is absolutely lovely and I've really enjoyed this. So as the name suggests, it's a soothing mask and it gives you radiance at the same time. So they suggest that you apply a thick layer to the skin. You leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and then you gently remove it with cotton wool or tepid water. And I really enjoy using this. Um, can I see more radiance to my skin? Uh, probably not, but it just feels really smoothing and it just kind of clarifies the skin. And it's a really nice thing to do once or twice a week, just to, when you're having a bath, I like to relax, put this on and it really feels quite luxurious on the skin. So I have enjoyed using that. And now on to two products which I would consider misses for this range. And the first one is the Aven SPF Fluid 50 Plus. Now, this is a good sunscreen in terms of the fact that it is 50 plus. It's um, got quite a good texture. It's a kind of, yeah, it's a dry touch. So it's not oily on the skin. I do have combination skin. So it was really good from that point of view. The only thing I didn't like about it is that it does leave a white cast. So if you're going to be wearing this under makeup, it's not a problem. But for no makeup days, you do get quite a pronounced white cast on the skin. So there are a lot better moisturizers out there that are, uh, sorry, SPFs out there that are cheaper. So I, I wouldn't repurchase this and I don't think I would recommend it either. And then the last product that I'm going to talk about is the cleansing foam. Now, I wanted to try this. They say that it mattifies and it's for normal to combination sensitive skin, which is exactly what I have. So when I came to the end of my Trizera Nutrition Gel, I thought I would try something a little bit different from the range, just mix it up a little bit and just see how the other products perform. So this was, I think it was in the region of 300 Rand and you're getting 150 ml. So you're getting quite a lot less than you're getting with the Trizera Nutrition Gel. And I have to say that I was quite disappointed with this. So they say that it's a foaming cleanser. So I give it a little bit of a shake and then I just dispense two pumps and it comes out as a foam. So that is all good. But when you start rubbing it into your skin, it's a very kind of thin texture. So it doesn't give you a creamy slip. It doesn't feel... Uh, soapy at all. It doesn't feel like it's going to be doing anything to your skin. So it's just the texture of it that I don't like. But interestingly enough, it does actually remove makeup. So it's, it's good from that point of view. But just in terms of the texture of it and how it feels on your skin, because after all, you know, that's 50% of a product. Um, is how it actually feels when you're using it. And from that point of view, I'm not a big fan and I don't think that I would be repurchasing this. So guys, that's my brief roundup of the event products that I've used. Let me know if you've used any other products from event. Let me know ones that you swear by. Let me know ones that have been a miss for you. I'd love to hear from you. Please leave your comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Join me on Instagram and I will see you next time. Ciao, ciao.